Hello everyone. So guess what? Mauro's not with me today. I got my son. Uh, so baby doll is doing, uh, I'm prepping my marinara sauce for my baked penne that I'm doing for Easter Sunday. So I want to show you guys how I do my uh, marinara sauce. Sometimes I use onions and sometimes I don't. Today I'm using onions. I always use, I put two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and uh, six cloves of garlic. I don't even chop them up. I'm just chopping up my onion. This is really the old fashioned way. Nona Pia does it like this. <laughs> Cause I just needed, this is just a medium onion chopped up and we're gonna saute that because I want you to know how I do my marinara sauce too. Uh, and like I said, this is gonna be for my uh, baked penne. It's usually called baked macaroni, but being that I'm using penne, I'm calling it baked penne. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna put this over medium heat and let that saute. I'm gonna add salt and pepper to taste. And then just so you know, how many jars of tomato sauce are you putting in oh, there? Oh, okay, so this is four jars because with my uh, baked penne, I'm doing four half trays. So I needed extra sauce. And then you're just gonna let that. I'm gonna let this cook down before, and we'll be back. Okay, so look at this. We sauteed these a little bit. Now we're gonna put our tomatoes in. Be careful. Yeah, Dina taught me that. Uh, to put the spoon in, it doesn't splash. Oh, what am we I doing? failed. What am I doing wrong, Dina? <laughs> And now my trick is I always use a splash of sugar for the acidity. I know a lot of people don't like the the um, splash of sugar, but I do. And now I got to get my fresh, fresh basil. Look at that. Fresh basil. Mmm, smells so good. And I just put a few leaves in there. I just washed it all. And now I'm going to let this simmer. Okay, so now we got the marinara sauce simmering. Now we're gonna uh, tell you what I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna need. So sausage, the 24 links out of the casing. This is about two and a half pounds of shredded mutts. Mascarpone, I'm gonna give you measurements after, but you need mascarpone. I like mascarpone instead of regatta, but you can use regatta instead of mascarpone. The regatta makes it very creamy. And I have my four pounds of penne, uh, pasta, which I'm going to do four half trays. So this recipe can be downsized. And we're going to break down the recipe for, in the YouTube video. Yes. Okay. So now our next step is going to be to start cooking the sausage. We'll be back. No oil required to brown the sausage since it already gives off oil. But since there's so much, we're going to have to brown it in batches and we'll be back. Okay. So now I finished browning all my sausage and I don't cook it all the way, all the way through because this is going to cook more in the oven. Now what I'm doing is I'm cutting it a little bit smaller, but I don't like it crumbled, crumbled. I like a nice chunk, but everyone does this different. When my sister Lisa does it, she makes it tiny, tiny, tiny. This is the way I do it. And then I forgot my grated Romano to tell you that's one of my main ingredients too. So uh, right now, as I'm cutting this up the way I want it, I have the water boiling for the pasta. And then when the pasta's ready, we'll be back to bring this all together. Okay, so now we're gonna put it together. I'm actually not baking it in this sheet, I'm just in this pan. I'm just gonna mix it in here because I wanted something flat to show you guys how I mix it. So I'm pouring the pasta and the sauce first. Okay, we're gonna prepare one half pan for you guys so you guys can see. Okay, this is gonna give me two half pans, but we're gonna do one, okay? So now, I never measured out my ingredients because I always do it by eye, so that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna measure it though, the mascarpone for you guys. I got a cup. Okay, so I mix my sauce. 
And then the full recipe is gonna be on the YouTube channel. Right. And now, wait until you see what creamy deliciousness you get from this. And like I said, a lot of people make it with regatta. I don't. This is my way. You can do it your way, or you can try my way. It's good, I promise. <laughs> Oh, I gotta get my spoon. Okay. So you mix this in. Now the mascarpone I leave out for about an hour so it softens up a little bit. And this is gonna melt right in there. Melty goodness from the heat of the pasta and the sauce. See it melting? See now this is gonna be for a half a tray. I need more mascarpone. So I'm gonna put another half cup in it. I'm not gonna fill this all the way. This is a full cup. I'm gonna do another half cup. Because the creaminess is the key. Try the mascarpone, you won't now regret it. Now I mixed all the mascarpone. I'm gonna add a little more sauce. And now I do the shredded mozzarella in here and on top. We like a lot of mozzarella. Can you tell? <laughs> okay. And now I'm going to mix my sausage. Now I'm using my hands. This is for me and my family. My hands are clean. I washed them a hundred times. Okay. And go to for the full recipe. You got to go to the link in our bio. Uh, family talk and taste and it's going to have the full recipe for you guys okay and this is a half a cup of grated romano cheese and then you could tell everyone why the sausage may look pink and that's because yeah it's not fully cooked but it, i only sauteed the sausage for about seven minutes because it's going to cook completely when you bake this in the oven Okay, and I'll tell you how long and all that when we get to that part. And I'm going to add a little more sausage. We like a lot of sausage. You could add less, you could add more. And you could also use ground pork or ground um, uh, beef for this too. I know a lot of people make this with that, with pork or ground beef. I like the ground sausage. Okay. Now we're gonna put it in our pan. Okay, so now I put a layer of sauce on the bottom and then I'm putting this in on top, all my mixture together, okay? And this is a half a tray. Italians like getting their hands dirty. <laughs> okay, and then I want you for the full recipe to go to our YouTube channel, Family Talk and Taste. We're gonna be posting a lot of recipes and the full recipe for this is gonna be on our YouTube channel, Family Talk and Taste. And ha that's with the bio, buddy, you know me, I get confused. Go to my, go to my bio. Link and bio. Go to my link and bio. Okay, not, not done yet. So now after that pasta's all in, we do shredded mutts on top. I can't wait for my new kitchen. Shredded mutts. I'm too chubby for this kitchen. I need more room. <laughs> okay. And then a little bit more sauce. And there's your product finished, ready to go in the oven. Alrighty, so this is the finished product. I had, I actually got four half pans and then really almost five. This is a little low, but I didn't want to throw it out. So I'm going to bake this one off too. So we'll probably have it for dinner tonight. I'll show you the finished product and how long to cook it for. Okay, so this is the finished product. I baked it at 375 for 40 minutes, the half pan. If it's a full pan, you got to do it like an hour. Okay, all ovens vary. But we'll get back to you when baby doll's home. He's going to taste. You tipped without me today? 
<laughs> well, I had to make this. I'm preparing it for Easter. I, I wanted you to, yeah, but I have dinner for you, honey. You know, it was like this. Very good. It's one of your favorites. You put the sausage meat in there too. That makes it so good. Oh, the sausage is the best. Very good. But this is the best thing to eat after your hard day's work. <laughs> Happy Easter, everybody. He just got home. I feel so bad for him. He's tired. It's all right. And I want to see how my son likes it. It's delicious. He's going for seconds. <laughs> Delicious. Good? Yes. That's Italian. Enjoy. The Scotty's that? chicken because he's barking. He ain't getting that. <laughs> uh -uh. Full recipe is going to be on our YouTube talk and taste. Family talk and taste. Family talk and taste. That's right. 